Hey guys, JDubs RW here, and today I'm gonna kick off a new series called JDubs Recommends. That's basically where I just uh, recommend stuff that I, I feel like everybody should check out. So this can be manga, anime, video games, movies, TV shows, YouTubers, anything. Um, so pretty much this is just a thing to recommend stuff. So you should check this stuff out. A couple side notes before we uh, get this started. Um, the lighting in the last video it was way too dark so I kinda have the curtain half open with my lamp on and uh, hopefully hopefully that's uh, good enough lighting and I turned the air conditioner off because I thought it was pretty annoying when I was watching the video so I, I turned that off um, and also I already recorded this whole video um, but I forgot to hit record pretty rookie mistake um, but yeah, that was pretty disappointing. But hopefully uh, this will this will turn out well. <laughs> hopefully I'm I'm actually recording this time and not just talking to myself. So uh, let's just get into this. Soul Eater Knot. Yes, I mentioned this in uh, one of my um, recent videos uh, where I show off my sketchbook. I'll put a link in the video and the description to that and. Basically, I just did a little bit of fan art, and I mention it, so you can go check that out if you want to. Um, so, what is what is Soul Eater not like? We're we're okay. Well, it is sort of a prequel to Soul Eater, um, and that is by Atsushi Okubo. They're both by Ats Atsushi Okubo, um, so it's made by the same person, and it's a sort of a prequel. Um, so for those of you who have not seen the original Soul Eater, let me kind of give a really quick uh, overview of everything and how the universe works in Soul Eater. It's pretty confusing, so hold tight. Um, there's weapons and meisters. Weapons are people who are born with the ability to transform into a weapon. And then meisters are just the people who are willing and able to wield these weapons in combat. And Weapons and Meisters go to a place called DWMA, or Death Weapon Meister Academy, who the main overseer is Death himself, or uh, Grim Reaper, or whatever you want to call him. They call him Death. Um, so Death is, I don't know if you would call him the principal or the CEO or whatever, but he's the main overseer of this, it's a school, basically, uh, of DWMA. And uh, their main goal, what they're trying to do is to teach weapons and meisters to uh, fight to be better fighters and to fight for the greater good now who are they fighting uh, Kishans and witches and then just general bad guys every once in a while so what are Kishans? I've heard of witches what are Kishans? Well Kishans are basically uh, people who devour too many human souls too many innocent human souls and in this world when you kill someone their soul kinda just floats there and then you can eat it so if you eat it, you gain more power, but it's it makes you more corrupt. So these people are, Kishans are people who have eaten too many, and they've become Kishans, so their souls are corrupt. So the main um, objective of these weapons are to eat 99 Kishan souls, and then one witch soul, and then they'll be able to become a death weapon. So a death weapon is death's personal weapon, so death's personal scythe. And that's pretty cool if you ask me. If you can be Death's personal weapon that he uses in combat, that's pretty cool. But you gotta eat 99 Kishin souls and one Witch soul. So that's the main objective of these people. And um, hopefully that kind of sums everything up without being a little too confusing. But uh, Soul Eater not. How is it different from the uh, regular Soul Eater and where does it take place? Well, it takes place um, a little bit before the first Soul Eater, so a little bit before the first manga or the first um, episode. And uh, you'll still see the characters, they'll make cameos um, from the original Soul Eater, and sometimes they play, play, big, um, they play big roles. So Maka is a huge influence on the main character, and um, you know, sometimes like the Thompson sisters were in a whole chapter in the second volume. There's only two volumes out, so it's really new. Um, so yeah, sometimes they just make random cameos, and sometimes they actually play, play pretty big roles in some of the stories that happen. So let me kind of go over the plot of Soul Eater Not. 
Now, a thing about sullied or not, why is it called not? What's the whole not all about? Well, apparently they explain that there's the eat class and the not class. Now, they didn't explain this in the original Soul Eater, so it's pretty cool. The eat class are the elite, I forget what it's called, but they're the elite people in DWMA, and then uh, not people are not, basically. <laughs> and um, they're both acronyms, but I don't forget what, I mean, I forget what they were. Um, so yeah, not people, usually they can't transform fully into a weapon, they're not very good fighters, and then the eat people, all of them can transform into a full weapon, and also they're really, really skilled fighters. And um, so the main objective for not class is to get into the eat class, and then the main objective of the eat class is to collect 99 Kishin souls and one witch soul. So that's something they explain, and that's I thought that was pretty cool, so that's why it's called Soul Eater Not. Now, the main character, Tsugumi-chan, is a weapon, and she goes to DWMA because she believes that all weapons should pretty much go there and try to fit into the normal world and um, pretty much kind of figure out her place in life and just, uh, you know, figure, learn a few things and, yeah, that's pretty much what she goes there for and she's the main character. Then she meets two girls, Anya-san and Mei-Mei-chan. So let me kind of go over their personalities. Uh, oh, by the way, they're both Meisters. The main character is Weapon, and then the other two support characters are both Meisters. So, um, Tsugumi-chan is uh, incredibly average. So, she's pretty average. She can have her moments, but otherwise she's pretty average, and she just, uh, it's just your average teenage girl, besides she's a weapon. Um, then you got Anya-san, who is kind of almost like royalty. She's like a princess, and, um... She's pretty, you know, high class and whatever, but she's secretly obsessed with the common people and their common ways. Uh, but she would never tell anybody. So that's why she likes Sugumi-chan so much. Then uh, there's Mei-Mei-chan, who is just really forgetful. She basically has short-term memory loss, where she'll forget her own name, she'll, get other, she'll forget other people's names, she'll forget what she's doing, where she's at. So she's, that's her main uh, trait, and also she's incredibly strong. She's just got brute strength, and Anya-san is actually a pretty skilled fighter as well. So, the main um, conflict is that, well, Tsugumi-chan is a weapon. Here, let me point in the right place. Uh, Tsugumi-chan is a weapon, and then Anya-san and Mei-Mei-chan are both Meisters. So, who is she going to pick? Because they all become best friends, basically. So, who is she going to pick to be the Meister? Because you get to pick, the weapon gets to pick. So... That's basically the main kind of conflict, and uh, so yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. A uh, little side note here, the cover has a texture to it. I don't know if you can see it or or what. Hopefully it doesn't look too blurry or anything, but it has a texture. It looks like, it's, it looks like little dots, and then um, yeah, you feel it, and it's a different kind of texture, which is, is nice. I've never seen it before. It's pretty cool. So yeah, there's uh, only two volumes out, like I said. And here's the second volume. Um, so that's the main conflict and uh, the main story and everything. Um, that's pretty much it other than Soul Eater, the first one. So if you have not uh, read or seen Soul Eater, you should probably go pick up a volume of the manga. Now if you don't like the manga, then you should pick up the DVD. So um, when you pick up the DVDs, you can get it, either get it in parts or... Uh, you can get it in, there's I think a weapon collection and a Meister collection, and then there's the overall whole series collection. But a cool thing about if you get it in parts, which each part is about 13 episodes, uh, Soul Eater, the, the first Soul Eater is 50 episodes approximately all together. But the cool thing about getting it in parts is that the, there's so much cover art. So if you really want to see a bunch of cover art, I suggest you get it in the boxes. I mean the parts. <laughs> They're all in boxes, right? But yeah, you should get it in the parts. I have it. In, I have part one and two. I've seen the whole series on Netflix. Um, so yeah, you can also see the series on Netflix or uh, Hulu or whatever it's on. Um, but please don't see it for free. Um, you know, these, these series can't... Uh, these series can't uh, support themselves. Their support comes through uh, you buying them and not watching it for free. So, 
yes, please, please buy these. Don't uh, try to find them for free. But I can't stop you. I mean, what are you going to do? But I bought them, so... But yeah, uh, Soul Eater Knot's only on manga. So you can either buy this on, you know, like... Uh, Kindle or whatever, get it on the ebooks, or you can actually buy it like I did, which has a cool texture, so that's a little bonus. Go to your local Barnes and Noble or Borders or whatever you got around. Um, I don't know if Borders is out of order or not, or you know, like out of business. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. That's my first recommendation. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.